Breaking news from SpaceX has sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. Elon Musk's team is revolutionizing Starship's heat shield technology. The company is pivoting away from traditional ceramic tiles toward an innovative metallic shield design that could transform how spacecraft survive the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. This isn't just another incremental improvement. It's a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft thermal protection. After careful analysis of Starship's Flight 6 data, where we witness the spacecraft's remarkable survival through re-entry, SpaceX engineers have identified a groundbreaking path forward, combining metallic shielding with advanced gas and liquid film cooling systems. While the current ceramic tiles can withstand temperatures up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, they come with significant drawbacks. They're fragile, require extensive maintenance, and need thorough inspection after each flight. SpaceX's proposed metallic solution promises to overcome these limitations, potentially achieving Elon Musk's ultimate goal, a fully and immediately reusable spacecraft that can land, refuel, and launch again with minimal inspection or refurbishment. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The race to revolutionize spacecraft re-entry technology took a dramatic turn last month at SpaceX's Starbase facility. As the sun rose over the Texas coast, engineers gathered in hushed anticipation around their monitors, watching thermal sensors track the final moments of Flight 5's descent. The aluminum-coated shields, which had shown such promise in ground tests, were now facing their ultimate trial in the merciless conditions of atmospheric re-entry. As temperatures soared past 2,000 degrees Celsius, the inevitable happened. The aluminum coating began to fail, leaving telltale patterns of thermal stress across Starship's gleaming hull. For Dr. Sarah Chen, SpaceX's lead thermal protection engineer, this moment wasn't a failure, it was an opportunity. Sometimes you learn more from pushing materials to their breaking point than from playing it safe, she noted in a recent technical briefing. This philosophy would prove crucial in the events that followed. Flight 6 marked the beginning of SpaceX's bold new direction. In what many industry experts considered a risky move, the team completely stripped heat shields from specific sections of Ship 31. As the spacecraft pierced through the atmosphere, sensors transmitted a wealth of data that would change everything we thought we knew about re-entry protection. Deep within SpaceX's Advanced Materials Laboratory in Hawthorne, California, a revolution was taking shape. The team had been quietly developing something extraordinary, a metallic heat shield system that would make the space shuttle's ceramic tiles look like ancient technology. But the path to this breakthrough was anything but straight. The story begins with a little-known experiment conducted at 3 a.m. one morning, when a young SpaceX engineer accidentally discovered an unusual property in a modified stainless steel alloy. While testing material samples under extreme heat, they noticed that one particular composition didn't just resist heat, it actively distributed it in a way that defied conventional thermal models. This discovery sparked an intensive six-month development program that would push the boundaries of material science. The team worked around the clock, testing hundreds of alloy combinations and cooling system configurations. They weren't just building a better heat shield, they were reimagining the entire concept of thermal protection for spacecraft. The current ceramic matrix composite CMC tiles, while impressive, tell a story of compromise. Each tile represents hours of painstaking manufacture and installation, with a constant risk of damage during launch and re-entry. SpaceX's maintenance logs reveal a sobering truth. After each flight, teams spend countless hours inspecting and replacing these fragile components creating a bottleneck that makes rapid reusability more dream than reality. But the new metallic heat shield system changes everything. Imagine a living, breathing skin for Starship, one that actively responds to the intense forces of re-entry. The breakthrough came in the form of a dual-layer protection system that would have seemed like science fiction just a few years ago. The outer layer consists of a specially engineered high-temperature alloy but it's what lies beneath that truly pushes the boundaries of innovation. A complex network of microscopic channels, inspired by the cooling systems found in nature, creates what engineers call dynamic thermal management. This is where the magic happens. During a recent test, engineers demonstrated the system's capabilities in dramatic fashion. 
Using high-speed thermal cameras, they captured the moment when the cooling system activated. As temperatures soared past the melting point of conventional materials, the surface remained stable, protected by an invisible barrier of precisely controlled coolant flow. The cooling system itself represents a triumph of engineering complexity made simple. Two revolutionary approaches work in harmony, gas venting and liquid film cooling. The gas venting system releases carefully calibrated pulses of inert nitrogen, creating a protective plasma deflection barrier that dances across the surface during re-entry. Meanwhile, the liquid film cooling system maintains optimal temperatures through thousands of microscopic pores, each independently controlled by advanced algorithms. The cost implications of this new system are staggering. While the space industry has long relied on exotic materials like carbon fiber, costing upwards of $200 per kilogram when accounting for waste, SpaceX's enhanced steel alloy costs a mere $3 per kilogram. This 98% reduction in material costs could revolutionize the economics of space travel. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this technology lies in its adaptive capabilities. Using a network of advanced sensors and real-time thermal mapping, the system continuously adjusts coolant flow rates to different areas of the spacecraft based on actual heat exposure during re-entry. This smart cooling approach has shown the potential to reduce coolant consumption by up to 60% compared to traditional methods. The implications extend far beyond just Starship. Success with these metallic heat shields could transform the entire space industry, making rapid reusability the new standard for spacecraft design. This could dramatically reduce launch costs and accelerate humanity's journey to becoming a multi-planetary species. Recent wind tunnel tests have revealed something extraordinary. The metallic heat shield prototypes didn't just survive. They thrived under conditions that would have destroyed conventional materials. In one particularly dramatic test, engineers deliberately pushed the system beyond its design limits, expecting failure. Instead, they witnessed the cooling system automatically compensating redistributing thermal loads in real time to protect the spacecraft's structure. The environmental impact hasn't been overlooked either. In a groundbreaking approach to sustainability, SpaceX has designed the entire system to be not just recyclable, but regenerative. The coolant system operates in a closed loop, recycling and purifying its working fluid after each use. Even the metallic components themselves are fully recyclable at the end of their service life creating a truly sustainable approach to space exploration. As SpaceX prepares for the first full-scale test of this new system, the excitement among the engineering team is palpable. Years of research, countless failed experiments, and numerous breakthrough moments have led to this point. The next launch will carry not just a spacecraft, but the hopes of revolutionizing space travel itself. Looking ahead, the team continues to push boundaries. They're already exploring applications of this technology beyond Earth's atmosphere, considering how it might protect future Mars landers or enable exploration of Venus's hostile environment. Each test brings new insights, new possibilities, and new challenges to overcome. The story of SpaceX's metallic heat shield is more than just a tale of technological innovation. It's a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. As we stand on the brink of this new era in spacecraft design, one thing becomes clear, the future of space exploration will be forged not in ceramic, but in metal. As we look ahead to Starship's next flight, SpaceX's revolutionary metallic heat shield represents more than just a technological breakthrough. It's a testament to human innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The transformation from fragile ceramic tiles to an intelligent, adaptive metallic shield system marks a pivotal moment in spacecraft design. With costs reduced from $200 to just $3 per kilogram and maintenance time potentially cut from days to hours, this innovation brings us significantly closer to Elon Musk's vision of rapid spacecraft reusability. The integrated cooling system, combining gas venting and liquid film technology, doesn't just protect, it adapts and responds to the intense challenges of atmospheric re-entry in real time. This advancement could be the key that unlocks regular interplanetary travel. As one SpaceX engineer recently noted, we're not just building a better heat shield, we're building humanity's bridge to Mars. We'll continue bringing you the latest developments in this groundbreaking technology. 
If you found this deep dive into SpaceX's innovations valuable, help us spread the word about these exciting developments. Hit the like button, share this video with fellow space enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for more exclusive coverage of SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. What are your thoughts on this new heat shield technology? Share your perspectives in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up. The future of space exploration is being forged in metal, not ceramic. The final countdown to Flight Test 6 is on, and this could be the most significant launch yet. In just days, we might see this engineering marvel take to the skies again. The pace of progress at Starbase is absolutely incredible, with critical preparations happening around the clock. The week kicked off with an impressive deluge test, a massive water suppression system designed to protect against the colossal forces of 33 Raptor engines at liftoff. This advanced system channels an enormous volume of water through the stainless steel flame deflector beneath the orbital launch mount. In an unexpected move, the final Block 1 Starship rolled out first, featuring fascinating modifications including strategic heat shield changes that could revolutionize future recovery operations. Its powerful booster partner followed shortly after, and now both vehicles stand united at the launch site, ready to make history. The excitement doesn't stop there. The Falcon 9 program continues breaking records, while construction on the second orbital launch site progresses at an astounding rate. We're witnessing space innovation at an unprecedented pace. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in space exploration. The anticipation is building for what could be the most ambitious Starship test flight yet. Let's dive right in. The preparation for Flight 6 represents the culmination of countless engineering innovations, each more impressive than the last. At the heart of these preparations, the Deluge system stands as a testament to SpaceX's commitment to safety and efficiency. This isn't just any water suppression system. It's a precisely engineered network of water channels integrated into a massive stainless steel flame deflector. During recent tests, the system demonstrated unprecedented water pressure levels, suggesting significant upgrades from previous configurations. Why such attention to water suppression? The answer lies in the raw power of 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously. At liftoff, these engines generate acoustic forces capable of causing structural damage to both the launch pad and the vehicle itself. The Deluge system's role is twofold. It suppresses these potentially destructive acoustic waves while simultaneously protecting the launch deck from extreme heat exposure. Engineering calculations suggest that redirecting this massive water flow toward launch operations, rather than reserving it for booster landing, maximizes the system's effectiveness. While Flight 6 preparations continue, a parallel narrative of innovation unfolds at Launch Site B, the construction team has achieved remarkable progress on the culvert system, a complex network designed to 